The following is a class on the Bhagavad Gita as it is. Third chapter, text number 17. Given by His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada. Recorded in the summer of 1966 in New York. Jastu Atmarati Devasya Atma Triptascha Manava Atman Nevacha Santushta Tasya Kajyam Navidvati Now, so far, Jagga offering sacrifice for the satisfaction of the Supreme Law, as we are discussing for the last few days. Now, here Lord Sri Krishna says that for a person who is already situated in the spiritual platform and is satisfied with his own self, he hasn't got to do anything. He has surpassed the stages of offering sacrifice, worship, prayers, everything. One who is situated in self-satisfied state, just like Sukhdev Goswami, he was, uh, as the other day we were narrating the story of Sukhdev Goswami, he was passing on naked, sixteen years old boy, young boy, and very nice feature of the body, <coughs> peaceful, and he was passing naked. And the girls who were taking bath naked on the river, they saw that innocent person. So they, they did not power their body. But when the father was passing, such a learned sage, old man, Vasudev, who is the author of all Vedic literature, is not an ordinary man. But because he was a worldly man, a householder, the girls, after seeing him, covered their body. That story the other day we have narrated before you. So the stage of Sukhdev Goswami is Atmarati, self-satisfied, doesn't care for anything of the world, he is aloof from the world. We should not imitate Sukhdev Goswami and become naked. <laughs> Simplify because there are many so called mendicants in India. Oh, they, they, oh, I want to say, lot are in the street naked and sometimes they are arrested by the police. Like, the imitation is not required. Imitation is not required. But there is a stage like that. Ah, that's like a madman. It's sometimes a madman. He also, I mean, say, wanders the street naked. So he is also in compact in some thought. So, but, but he is a madman. But similarly, a person who is completely compact in Krishna thought, Krishna consciousness, he is also a madman according to the calculation of this world. I think there is a line in Shakespeare's literature, the, the lunatic mad and the poet or something like that, all compact in thought. So the mad man and atmarati person, self-satisfied man, outwardly you will find there is no difference, but inwardly, oh, there is vast difference. 
देर इज अ स्टोरी ऑफ जड़ भड़क जड़ भड़क ए ब्राह्मीण बॉय हुज नेम वॉज जड़ भड़क ही ही वॉज फॉर्मैली द एम्पर ऑफ दिस वर्ल्ड हिज नेम वॉज महाराज भड़क एंड बाई हीज नेम नाव इंडिया इज कॉल्ड भारत वर्ष formally this whole planet was named as bharatvarsh before that this planet was named as ilavati varsh long long years ha uh, millions of years before that jarvat he also a uh, lived atmarati self satisfied in the beginning of his spiritual life he left this world a very young age when he was only 24 years old he left his wife children and kingdom it's not joke eh uh, an emperor with beautiful young wife small children and palace he left everything uh oh. there are many instances like that rugnath das goshani About whom we pray daily, Bande Rupa Sanatana Raghujigo, Sri Jiva Gopal Ko. This Raghunath Das Goshani, he was also an, a young man and a very rich man's son. At that time, five hundred years before, his father's income was, uh, I mean, say ten million rupees. Uh, so there are many instances in India we have got. But this this Jarvara, he left his kingdom and family and everything, and went for spiritual realization, self realization. Unfortunately, he was again in affection with a cup of beer, and he got next life. Uh, I think I have already narrated this story. Uh, while he died, he was thinking of that beer cup, and he became a beer. जंग जंग बाप इस मरण लो के तजत तंत कले वरो दैट इज दिस एंड द टेक्निक ऑफ डेथ एट द टाइम ऑफ डेथ व्हाट एवर यू आर थिंकिंग दैट मींस यू आर प्रिपेयरिंग योर नेक्स्ट लाइफ लाइक दैट दैट फॉर द होल लाइफ वी होल लाइफ शैल बी सो प्रोसेस दैट एट द सेम टाइम एट द एट द एंड ऑफ आवर लाइफ वी कैन एट लीस्ट थिंक ऑफ कृष्णा then sure and certainly go back to krishna this practice has to be done ha ah, because unless we practice why you are strong and stout and our consciousness is right thinking so instead of wasting time in so many things for sense gratification if we go on concentrating on krishna consciousness that means we are making a solution of all the miseries of our material existence that is the process krishna krishna consciousness all is thinking of krishna that for krishna comes and he presents himself just like ordinary man acting Why? Just like here in the Bhagavad Gita, Krishna is present in the battlefield of Kurukshetra. Oh, he had no necessity of presenting himself in the battlefield of Kurukshetra. But it is for us because we are very much anxious to know where battle is going on, where fighting is going on. Where detective detective is working, where murder is committed, all these literatures attract us very much. Stories and literatures, all these things, they attract very much. Huh? In a book shop, you go. If you ask them, supply me one uh, copy of Bhagavad Gita, he will have to find out. But if you ask a book bookseller, give me some novels, oh, he will present so many things. because 
our inclination is like that. We are always anxious to learn this mundane affairs. We have no taste for spiritual upliftment. That taste we have lost. That is the stage of our present existence, forgetfulness. Ah. We do not know how our taste should be created, how our taste should be converted from material to spiritual. That we do not know. Therefore, Lord is so kind, Krishna, that He creates a battlefield for you, so that you may be anxious to know who is fighting, with whom who is fighting. Because we are anxious to know, we are always very much anxious to learn stories. So all these Puranas, just this morning we were discussing, uh, the all these, uh, Sri Suddha Dijabandhunam Trayina Suti Gochara, that's there, it's so kind that he could understand that the next generation before, I mean to say, five thousand years before, when he was thinking, you should always know that great thinkers, great, I am to say, sages, we see, they are sitting in the uh, secluded place, in a forest, not idly. They are always thinking, how people should be benefited, uh, how people should be benefited. Lukanam uh, hitakarinam, just like we sing daily about the Goswamis. Nana sastra vicharanai kanipanam saddharma sangasthapako lukanam hitakarinam tribhuvane mannam saranyakano Radha Krishna Padara Vinda Bhajana Dandi Namatvalika Bande Rupa Sanatana Rafijika Sri Jiva Gopalaka. Now just see, these gentlemen, there are some of them were big Jaminda, some of them were learned scholars, some of them were ministers in the government service, but they left everything. And at Vrindavan, they sat down, nana sastra vichara nikanupuna. No, they are kind of making research by, by researching all kinds of Vedic literature, how things should be presented to the people of this age so that they can take up the matter very seriously and easily and they can make progress. That was their vision. Not that they left home, become easy going, and take prasadam and go on sleeping. Oh. No, no, no. They have no time to sleep. They are always thinking. Loka nang hitakarina. How people should be benefited. As much as the Lord is very much anxious for our benefit, similarly the devotees of the Lord, they are equally anxious for the benefit of the public. Uh. So, Lord Sri Krishna, uh, He created. Now this Mahabharat, Mahabharat, you have heard the name of Mahabharat. It is a history of the uh, fighting between two parties, uh, Guru Pandava. So this Mahabharata was especially made, I mean this story, uh, I mean uh, <coughs> just like uh, expert writer, they will pick up some historical facts and put it into fiction, so to create more interest. Uh, in, a, in, in, in Bengal there is a famous writer who is uh, compared with uh, Scott of England. Uh, so, Bunkin Chandra Chattel. Oh, he, all his novels are picked up from some historical facts. Historical facts. That makes uh, the fiction very interesting. Similarly, Mahabharat, uh, this is a um, history of fighting between two parties. And, uh, that was written specially 
त्रिशुद्र द्विजबंधु नाम त्रय नुति गोचरा जस्ट स्टैच इन दिस श्लोका दिस मॉर्न है त्रिशुद्र द्विजबंधु नाम त्रि मीन्स ओम एंड क्लास ओम एंड एंड शूद्र एंड द्विजबंधु शूद्र मीन्स ऑर्डिनरी पीपल नॉट इंटेलिजेंट क्लास ऑर्डिनरी पीपल शूद्र एंड द्विजबंधु द्विजबंधु मीन्स बॉर्ड इन हायर कास्ट फैमिली बट देर क्वालिफिकेशन इज नीट सच पर्सन फॉर्मली अकॉर्डिंग टू वर्णाश्रम धर्म इट इज नॉट दैट बिकॉज आई एम ए ब्राह्मीन सन देयर फॉर आई एम ए ब्राह्मीन जस्ट दी प्रैक्टिस इज गोइंग आउट नाउ इन इंडिया कास्ट सिस्टम और दैट वॉज नॉट दिस सिस्टम सिस्टम ऑफ डिफरेंस so this mahabharat was written for such person who are claiming to be a brahmin because he is born in the brahmin family but according to uh, shastra scripture such persons are not called brahmin they are called vijay bandhu a friend of a brahmin uh, so just say i am i am son of a high court judge so that does not that does not mean i am also high court judge i must be qualified to become a high court judge but if i go out that because my father is high court judge therefore i am also high court judge so these things are going on now in india uh, because his fourth father was a brahmin or his father was a brahmin and although he has no qualification of a brahmin he also claims to be a brahmin but Uh, the scripture, the Vedic scripture, that does not allow. Uh, they will call. No, you are not a Brahmin. You are you are Brahmin son. That's all. We can we can admit so far. There is no uh, harm admitting you that you are a son of a Brahmin. But we cannot admit you Brahmin. That is uh, quite reasonable. So the Mahabharata was written for such persons who are son of a Brahmin. But actually, by qualification, he is less than Shudra. So Mahabharata was written for that. And in the middle of Mahabharata, Bhishma Parva, this Bhagavad Gita is inserted. Uh, inserted, not inserted. Practically, in the battlefield of Mahabharata, this Bhagavad Gita was spoken, and it is. Uh, oh, <coughs> it is a surprise. In those days. Television was in the heart. Television, and this, this, uh, uh, I mean, the battlefield of Kurukshetra was television, and in the heart of Sanjay, Vitarasta, the father of one party, Duchidhan, and his secretary Sanjay was sitting in the room, and they were discussing. What happened after this? Just like you get television or radio message in a football ground, what is going on by sound and uh, picture? So the same thing was being reflected in his heart, and he was in the room. He was uh, explaining the activities of the battlefield. And this is the story like that. Sanjay Vacha, Vidurast Vacha, the beginning. He. Uh, <coughs> धर्मक्षेत्र कुरुक्षेत्र समुदीता दिवस्तव माम का पांडवाश्च किमपूर्वत संजय ओल्ड किंग एंड इज सेक्रेटरी वॉज सिटिंग इन अ रूम एंड इज फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन वॉज वेल संजय वॉट हैपन अगेन दिस दिस एंड दैट एंड यू आर स्पीकिंग लाइक दैट दैट वॉज अ टेलीविजन वे दिस भगवद गीता वॉज रिटन वॉज स्पोकन टू ए फैमिली मैन और जो military man and the whole mahabharat is meant for sri shuddha dijabandh less qualified man just see in those days less qualified man were meant for understanding bhagavad gita in half an hour just imagine what class of less intelligent persons were at that time the same bhagavad gita now scholars like Doctor Adha Krishna and others, so many big big scholars, they are scrutinizing this study. Is still they cannot understand. But this Bhagavad Gita was meant 
But the less intelligent class of men of that time. Uh, that you can imagine what class of less intelligent class and women were there. Uh, it is specially written, you will see. Sri Suddha Vijabandhanam Trahina Siti Gotra. Because woman class and less intelligent class and these uh, unworthy sons of the Brahmins and Satriyas, they will not be able to understand the original Vedic literature. Therefore, uh, it, has, uh, it has been uh, um, presented in a story form with historical facts so that they can understand. That was the origin. Ah, so Bhagavad Gita is a not very high class Vedic literature. Ah, it is just the entrance, ABCD of Vedic literature. ABCD, entrance. Just like matriculation examination, school living examination, then you entered into college and then get your uh, um, graduate, become a graduate and then postgraduate. So oh, the Bhagavad Gita is just entrance for an uh, entrance examination for spiritual education. Uh, it is not very. Uh, it is written for the common man, common man, uh, common man, householder, less intelligent man, woman class like that. Uh, and originally the Ved Ved is one, Yajur Veda, and because it was very Difficult to understand. Veda, Veda was uh, spoken by Lord Himself to Brahma. Uh, <coughs> so, uh, so seeing, forcing the condition of the present age, that they divided four Vedas, uh, one Veda into four. The original Veda is Jajur Veda. Then he divided into Sama, Jajur, Vi, Atharva. Then again, the basic literatures are explained in Puranas, eighteen Puranas. Then Mahabharata. Then again, he summarized all the Vedic knowledge in the Vedanta Sutra. Vedanta Sutra. Summarized. Then again, the Vedanta Sutra is explained is by Srimad Bhagavatam. These are the all Vedic literature. When you read this book in the preliminary, those who have got books will find all this description. So, uh, Krishna, for understanding a, uh, of the common people, the highest truth of Vedic literature, the highest truth of Vedic literature is Krishna. And nothing else. You find in the Bhagavad Gita, God, the Lord says, Veda is the Sadvai Ahameva Veda. The whole purpose of Veda is to understand me. That's it. If one has understood Krishna, then he has understood all Vedic literature. He has nothing to understand anymore. He has passed all existence. Veda is the Sadvai Ahameva Veda. Vedanta Krit Veda Videma Chaham. And the Lord says that I am the writer of Vedanta because Vyasde is an incarnation of Krishna for writing this literature. His name is Krishna Daipayana Vyas. Therefore, as incarnation of Vyas, Krishna wrote all this Vedic literature. So Vedanta Krit and Veda Videma Chaham, and if anyone understands Veda, then it is I only who understands Veda. Therefore, if we understand Krishna, then we understand everything. We understand Veda. Jasmin Vijnate Sadameva Vijnatam Bhavanti. If anyone understands one, uh, just like in uh, arithmetic, if you understand one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, then you understand everything. Because in arithmetic or mathematics there is nothing than these nine figures. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine, six, you make it a multiplication, 
and or uh, subtraction or division or whatever process you have, there is nothing but one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine. That's it. Similarly, they, if you understand Krishna, then you understand the whole Viva. And for understanding Krishna, here is the last thing spoken by Krishna himself about himself. If I, what I am, if you can go on thinking, the Samidhi said that the, the other day uh, Paul was speaking that somebody has informed that I have got fifteen children. Now, I do not know uh, how one can understand that I have got fifteen children. I, I never told in this meeting, but uh, he, he told me that somebody told me that I have got fifteen children. But this is misunderstanding. If, if I say, uh, he asked me, uh, Samiji, how many children you have got? I told him, I have got at home three boys and two girls. And he told me that I understood that you have got fifteen children. So, so that means, any, anyway, if, if you want to know about me, then you must know from me. That is authentic. That is authentic. Or from a confidential person who is in confidence of me. Similarly, if you want to know Krishna, then here is Bhagavad Gita spoken by Krishna Himself. You just try to understand and you learn Krishna. Or you learn confirmation. Suppose if you cannot understand, Krishna by reading Bhagavad Gita, but hearing Bhagavad Gita, then you know that Bhagavad Gita was spoken to Arjun, and Arjun has admitted uh, uh, about his understanding in the tenth chapter. So just try to understand Arjun. How he understands? Either you understand Krishna directly, or you understand through the authority who has spoken directly by the Lord. So there is no difficulty to understand Krishna. And if you understand Krishna, your life is perfectly and all right. Then you get your life and the complete perfection of your life. That is the whole literature. So here the Lord says, just to Atmarati Devasya. Atmarati, one who is focus of life is simply for self-understanding. Atmarati. Sya. Atma Triptascha Manava. He is simply satisfied with his self-understanding that I am pure consciousness. My relation with Krishna is such and such. My relation with this world is temporary. My real relation with Krishna. This Krishna is permanent, and I am permanent. I am his part and parcel. These simple things. So, one who has understood these things nicely, and he is satisfied in himself, just like Sukhdev Goswami, he didn't care for anything. Ah, who is naked dancing or naked bathing? No, he has no care. He is going on on the street. Just to atmarite alati devasyat atma tripta samanava atma neva santushta. He is satisfied in himself and with Krishna. Tasya tarjanga vidya. He has nothing to do. But he is free. Now, if you are not in that stage, then you have to perform sacrifice as recommended in the Bhagavad Gita. You have to work in such a way that your work will be purified gradually and will come to this stage of Atmarati. But if you from the very beginning uh, you are satisfied with your self, understanding, then you have nothing to do. You have nothing to do. Uh, 
जस्ट लाइक आराधित यदि हरी स्तब सात तक किम नाराधित यदि हरी स्तब सात तक किम अंत बही यदि हरी स्तब सात तक किम नांत बही यदि हरी स्तब सात तक किम तब सात तक किम वॉट इज दूज ऑफ दिस नॉन सेंस पेलेंस एंड मेडिटेशन वॉट इज दूज देर इज नो मॉर यूज फॉर होम ना आराधित यदि हरि हरि मीन्स द सुप्रीम पर्सनल ऑफ गॉड इफ ही इज रिलेशनशिप इज कंप्लीटली अंडरस्टूड एंड वन इज एनगेज इन हिम दैन फॉर हिम ऑल दिस पेलेंसेस मेडिटेशन एंड ज्ञान योग ऑल दिस नॉट ये मन मत नाम समझ ही हैज नो रिक्रिजिशन फॉर ऑल दिस थिंग ही हैज कम टू दी हाई स्टे आराधित यदि हरि and naradhita jadi hari and after performing all the penances and jnana yoga meditation ultimately and there is no understanding of krishna then whole thing is spoiled tab saat tak ki he mean what is this use of all this nonsense if you are not understood the real thing the if you understood the real thing then also these things are nonsense and if you have not understood the real thing then these things are all nonsense So there are two things, but that is the ultimate. But one has to uh, come to that very point, uh, understanding of Krishna Atma Ruti, uh, that He is Paramatma, He is the Supreme Soul, and I am Atma, I am individual soul, I am part and parcel of Krishna. That relationship is eternal, and that is congenial. and that is my real happiness we have forgotten that we have by chance fallen into this material contamination and we have made our relationship with so many material things so that we have forgotten krishna now the whole process is to revive our consciousness to krishna for that purpose krishna comes himself Or Krishna kiss this Bhagavad Gita for you, or Krishna sends his confidential devotees to you to canvass you, come to the point and be happy. That is the whole point. So Atmanati, Atmanati is self satisfaction. Oh, you will find at the Nava. Oh, so many great devotees. Just like this, uh, Goswami, about whom we pray daily. Now, about them, it is stated: Tatva tu namase samandala pati sening sadatu chavat. Now, these people are very educated. Uh, mandala pati, mandala pati means leaders of great society. Uh, so they give up when they. Join Lord Chaitanya's movement. They gave us everything. They designed some ministry. The Nawab Sir was very much uh, sorry. He was interned that he cannot uh, uh, resign from this post. Then the whole thing will be and uh, uh, all my plan, all my kingdom will be lost. You, I cannot allow you to resign. That they decided that ah uh, no, no more. Then the Nawab Sir told him. Then I put him into under internment. So they are put into jail. So anyway, they came out. So they, this fact is narrated. Tatvat hurnam masi samandala pati sanein sada tuchha. Tuchha means tuchha means insignificant. Such high post and position, they left everything. They left everything. Why? Bhutva di na gane sako karunaya kopi na kantha sito. And for doing good to the poor, conditioned souls, they came to Vrindavan and become just like merely poor beggars. Uh, their appearance, their appearance became the description is that they are living in a uh, underneath a tree. One night underneath one tree, and next night another underneath, and uh, taking I mean to say dried, rejected. Bread given by the neighbors in this way, 
you are living. But what was the happiness? The happiness was Gopi Bhavara Samrata Bhilahari Kallol Magno Sada Bande Rupa Sanatana Ravihi. They are all as that sword in thoughts of Krishna, how Krishna is uh, and, uh, having his best time, his activities, by thinking, by thinking, thinking. So they could be, they could forget their material prosperity in exchange of thinking Krishna. So here it is said that just to ask for a Siddhiva so they haven't got to do anything, sacrifice or this or that, because they are absorbed in Krishna thought. Absorbed in Krishna thought. So here Krishna says that anyone who is absorbed in such thought uh, of, of his self-realization, uh, then he hasn't got to perform this ritual, this and that and that. Now that Atmarati is this uh, Lord Chaitanya introduction. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare. Uh, where uh, just like we give uh, glories, Thakur Haridas ki jai. Thakur Haridas, he was a Mahamedan uh, during uh, this moment. He was a Mahamedan old man. <coughs> Mm. He has, his photograph is also there. Uh, so uh, his name was Ibrahim, and uh, he likes to chant the Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram. He took his only business of chanting. Uh, he was chanting daily. Uh, mm, Three lakh, three lakh means three hundred thousand times. Three hundred thousand times he was chanting. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, this Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare. This is sixty. By one stretch you can chant sixty. Now uh, you can make your argument if you want to increase. So that Thakur Hrida, he used to chant and three hundred thousand times daily, three hundred thousand times daily. That how can it be? But he had no other gift. Uh, he had no other gift. Uh, no, and uh, people become envious. One a Brahmin Janinda in the village, oh, he becomes very envious. So oh, this man is Mahavidan. And he is getting so much respect. How oh, I am a Brahmin, I am a Jaminda, and nobody cares for me. Oh, this way he should be given some lesson. So he called a beautiful prostitute. Well, I shall give you such and such sum of rupees if you can, uh, I mean to say, make a fall down of this man, this young man. He was a young man. Uh, Thakur Hridas was at that time about twenty-five years old, young man. So that prostitute, there was agreement, oh, it is an easy thing for me. That you give me such and such money. I shall get him all right. So one day <coughs> that prostitute very nicely dressed and uh, at midnight and when he was chanting, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare, and the prostitute sat down before him, and the Thakur said, uh, Why you have come? Uh, uh, then he disclosed, his in- disclosed her intention that you are such a nice, strong man, and so I have come to embrace you. Oh, very good. Very good. You sit down. You sit down. Let me finish. Let me finish my chanting, Hare Krishna. Because I have got a vow for chanting and so many, so it is now almost finished. And as soon as finished, we shall enjoy. Very good. You see. So, by chanting, 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 it became morning. Now that prostitute uh, became restless. Uh, I am very sorry because I could not finish my chanting. 
that for we could not enjoy life. All right, you come this evening, this night, this man, yeah. So next also night she came in the same way, and the same business chanting. And he said, let me finish, then I shall do. Then in the three days, after three days, the prostitute became wonderful, and she fell down on his feet. Sir, this is my intention. I was instructed by this man. So please excuse me and please save me from this nonsense business. Then Thakurhidas replied, Yes, I could understand your intention and who has sent you. I knew everything. But because you have come to my shelter, I stayed here for three days just to convert you. Otherwise I would have gone the very same night. From this place. So I said, hey, you have come to your senses. Now give us this nonsense business. Sit down here. And you also chant Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna. I am going from you. So that first is it become a great devotee. See also. So this is the touchstone. Touchstone. So this is called Atmarati. If this movement is spread, then people will be self-satisfied. Uh, he will be no more hankering for any artificial thing. Uh, uh, as soon as she goes on realizing the uh, transcendental nature of Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Ram Hare Hare, uh, he will feel himself fully satisfied. Nothing can enchant him. Nothing can drag him from this platform. And for him there is nothing to do. So that is the stage, uh, that is a stage described by Lord Krishna, that if somebody comes to this stage of life, he hasn't got to do anything of religious rituals, this or that, meditation or, or reading or nothing. Naiva tasya kritena artha na akritena kaschana natasya sarubhuteshu kaschi dartha bhupatraya. If somebody comes to that stage of life, atmanandi, self-satisfaction, then his activities have also no reaction. Reaction. Just like this uh, Thakur Haridas. Thakur Haridas was a, was a man in renowned sort of a life. Now for him it is in, there is injunction that those who are in, in a renowned sort of life, they should not sit down uh, in a secluded place with all men. Why a renowned sort of man, it is a the Shastra injunction is that, so far Vedic literature is concerned, they are very much strict about association, free association of man and woman. They are very much strict. They have compared woman as fire and man as the uh, a pot of butter. So, and according to strict Vedic principle, uh, except one's own wife, nobody sits down in a private place with woman. Even she happens to be a mother, even she happens to be a daughter, even she happens to be a sister. So much restriction is there. Matra sasra dhitra vanam yukta vasit. Either she is your mother, either she is your daughter, either she is your sister. Don't sit down in a secluded place. Hello, it all. So such a stricture is there. Now, Haridas Thakur, at dead of night, a woman came before him and she was sitting, she was chanting. So according to this uh, restriction or injunction, she has committed wrong. No. She has not come to him. Because she was, he was trying for her benefit. He was sitting there not with the purpose of 
sense gratification. He was sitting with that woman with the purpose of converting him to a self-realization. He had no other intention. His only intention was, well, this poor creature has come to me. Never mind, whatever her intention is. And if I am elevated, if I have anything, anything relationship with my Supreme Lord, I must do something good to this poor creature so that his life also may become successful. That was his intention. He had no other intention. Therefore, naivata sakritena anartha. Therefore, for him there is no restriction. There is no restriction. And nakritena yaha kaschana and neither he has got any obligation that he has to do this or that. Neither by doing he has got any reaction or neither by not doing he has to pay something, default something like that. Natasya sarvabhute śrutkaschi artha bhapāsaya and he has no relation with anybody to take anything from them. Now so far this self-satisfaction stage is concerned, Śrubhdev Goswami is the ideal person. He was living naked. And in the early in the morning he would stand up in any householder's uh, door because in India still, I, I, I think here also the system is there. Those who have got private cows, they milk the cow early in the morning. Early in the morning if the cow, cow is milk, it gives the proper quantity of milk. That is the system. <coughs> uh, before sunrise. So Sukhdev Goswami and the whole day's business was that um, he would go to a householder because in India still the system is a householder keeps at least in the village at least ten to twelve cows. But he hasn't, he hasn't got to pay anything for keeping this. Uh, the, uh, the cows go to the pasturing ground and when the evening comes back and some grass, dry grass which is a uh, byproduct of the grave that is offered to us as instead of in place. He, he offers me the so milk in the village is still and uh, it is available very easily <coughs> without any expenses. Now the the uh Goswami uh, because his whole life business was just to stand before a householder's door and uh, because every householder milking and People know that this uh, Samiji or this sage has come to take some milk. All oh, Baba, whatever you want to take, so what? Say one pound or less than one pound drink and go down. The whole day was finished business. Uh, <coughs> so Sukhdi Goswami was doing like that. He wouldn't, he wouldn't go anywhere. And he simply, all in the morning, he would stand before a householder's door and Get little milk and the whole day will travel naked. He he has recommended that why you are anxious. You I need mean to say those who are in the renowned sort of life, those who have left the world uh, simply for self spiritual realization. So Sudhir Goswami Goswami advises that uh, you uh, if you have actually left home for spiritual realization then you haven't got any problem for maintaining your life. You have no problem. So he recommends, chirāni kīngna patiśanti. Well, I am naked, of course, you do not wish to run on as naked, you require some cloth. All right, find out some cloth in the street. There are so many cloth and thrown in the street. So you can pick up one, one of them. So your class problem is there. So, chīrāni kīngna patiśanti, dhisanti hikṣāṁ nai hāmpi aṅghirpā. Aṅghirpā means these trees. They have got fruits. So you can ask a tree, apple tree, 
to give you some apple, sweet. So your clothing and eating problem is stopped. All right. Then your shelter, Buddha uh, Guhaki. Oh, you find out some cave. Uh, there is nice place. Uh, so the house problem is solved. Then water. Oh, there are many rivers. There is no water problem. So he has recommended like that. Naturally, in India, <coughs> still there are persons who do not care for anything of the world. They are atmarati, atmarati. They are self-satisfied. Doesn't care. Oh, uh, doesn't care for anything. So for such person, there is no need of uh, uh, doing any jagga or purifying uh, their activities or so many things as the command of the right one. The Lord says, uh, they have nothing to do. Satsma asatta satatam kajam karma samachara asatta jhyacharam karma param apnoti purusha. Now, what is this meaning of this atmanati? The meaning of atmanati is that one has to be situated in full spiritual consciousness and aloof from material uh, engagement. That is the common service. So uh, the same thing can be practiced by us also. Of course, we may find difficulty, we may think how it is possible to become like Sukhdev Goswami. No, it is not possible. The real fact which Krishna is explaining here that <coughs> That don't be attached to your uh, result of the activity. Just become free. Now, for maintenance of, of your body, you have to do something. That's all right. Uh, but you don't be attached to that work. You are simply to, because you are part of this body, you have to maintain it so that the body and soul can be maintained and you have to perform this spiritual realization. Just to keep the body eh, nicely, not neglecting the body, but become detached from the bodily attachment. Eh, you just try to juptahara, juptahara, but to take food is not forbidden. But you have to take food only just to maintain your heart, not for and to say taste of your palate or tongue. That should be practiced. You should leave, you should eat to leave. You should not leave to eat. That should be your life's principle. Tasmad sakta, tasmad asakta satatam, asakta. Don't be attached. Kajam karma samacha. Do your duty as duty, because you are duty bound, but don't be attached to that. Why? Because you, you should always know that your real work is uh, self-realization. Asapta jhacharam karma param apnoti purusa. And if you practice like that, then the same perfection of life will attain. Don't be attached to your work. Don't be attached, unattached. Nidbandi Krishna Sambandi Jitta Jitta Vairagamucha. The same advice is given in seven places that work, but do not work with attachment. Just uh, to make the best use of a bad body, that's all. Uh, go on working like that. Tasmad asakta satatam kajam karma samachara asakta jhyacharam karma param apnoti purusa. And if you uh, continue your work, unattached like that, then the result will be that you will also reach that perfection and stage of life as the Vedanta Shanti. Karma na yuva hi sang siddhim ārthito janakādaya loka saṅgāmeva api saṅpatsam katsuma siso. You haven't got to give up your work, your duty. Go on doing your duty, but make your point that my life main business is self-realization. You give more uh, importance to that point of life, not to the uh, point of that I shall earn more and enjoy. 
life. No, that should be given up. That is called non-attachment. So if we go on working uh, in non-attachment and uh, culture our self-realization, then gradually we shall come to the perfectional point. Thank you very much. Now if there is any question.